Lots of people are talking about Seattle's new sugary drink tax. This tax went into effect January 1st, and that means most sweetened beverages like sodas, sports drinks, energy drinks will cost more for distributors and also for you, the consumer. Now, some of the money from the tax will go toward health education to sway people from drinking the sweetened beverages. And while many say this is a political move, others argue it is purely about health. So let's talk about that. Most of us consume way too much sugar each day and a lot of it comes from what we're drinking. So I want you to take a look at these numbers from the American Heart Association. The recommended daily level of added sugar a day for women is six teaspoons or less. For men, it's nine teaspoons or less. And as you can see for kids, six teaspoons or less. Now for comparison, I want you to see a 12 ounce can of regular soda. That has 10 teaspoons of sugar. A 20 ounce bottle of soda has 16 teaspoons of sugar. So you do the math, we're getting way more. And if you have two of those a day, woof, you're through the roof. So Dr. Mary Ann Bowman is here on behalf of the American Heart Association to talk to us about the impact too much sugar has on our health. First, let's talk about how much sugar most of us consume every day. It's pretty shocking. Most people, about 20 teaspoons a day, mm -hmm. which is three times what women are supposed to do, more than twice what men are supposed to do, um, and three times what kids are supposed to do. So it's it's a lot. It is a lot, especially when you put it in teaspoons forms, because that's how we can equate it. What's your biggest health concern when it comes to too much sugar? Well, there are a number of different things. First of all, uh, obesity, right? Oh, that is the major issue that we're dealing with with this. Heart attacks, strokes, uh, diabetes, diabetes epidemic. And we think this plays a great role with that. But also, a lot of people don't know breast cancer, uh, uterine cancer, prostate cancer, all are increased when you are obese. And remember that we've got 69% of our country that is overweight or, or obese. I mean, it's big numbers. The list is long, and we can do something about it. So let's talk about nutrition labels. Mm -hmm. We should be reading them, but there can be hidden sugars in some of the terms. So what should we be looking yeah, for? Yes, so you can, you know, glucose, fructose, uh, the corn syrups, high fructose corn syrups, all of these. Oh, also, people don't realize honey agave they think oh this is healthy it's you know i'm doing a good thing you think good sugar but it's sugar okay it's sugar just like people think uh you know if you do sea salt it's not salt it's still salt this is still sugar so all of these play a role you have to look at the labels you will be shocked at the amount of sugars and the amounts of carbohydrates that are in everything that you eat so what's your advice as a medical professional to cut back on some of the sugary drinks, for example? I think, uh, you know, American Heart Association recommends uh, no more than 36 ounces per week. So, you know, not saying you can never have a soft drink again, but saying you need to limit it. You need to increase your water and do other things. What I tell people is find the least amount of sugar in something that that is that you can enjoy because we're supposed to enjoy food we're supposed to enjoy things but you can change your taste buds and if you change your taste buds you'll find things that you used to drink that or or eat that were so sweet and you loved them are way too sweet now so you really have to pay attention I'm glad you said that because 13 years ago I had my first child and I stopped drinking soft drinks then mm -hmm. and never went back on occasion I'll drink a soft drink I'll kind of crave one and they taste way too sweet yep. so I think that does work uh, before I let you go let's talk about kids and the obesity epidemic and the contribute the, how sugar right. contributes to that yes absolutely if a child does one sugar sweetened beverage a day uh, they increase their odds of being obese by 60 percent I mean, it's it's big, and so and and you know, parents are thinking, oh, we give them fruit juices. That's very good, but that's high in the sugars as well. So what we really want you to do is to drink more water and maybe sweeten it with a little bit of fruit juice or fresh fruit, so that you'll enjoy it, but not the heavily sugared kinds of things. And we want we don't want kids to develop these taste buds either. Right. We you know, so that they it. have to change. Yeah. Important information, Dr. Bowman. David's on day day three of no sugar in his. <laughs> Great. Diet, That's so great. <laughs> we're all doing it. Join us. And for more of our healthy living segments, you can go to q13fox.com slash healthy living.